While a lot of our nation's elderly are found in residential care facilities, Doris is one person who is enjoying life at home. Doris, my grandma, was born July 2nd, 1906. She has lived in this area her whole life. She married Otto. Otto had a daughter who was three years old. Doris then had another son, John. When John was 15, they moved here to the farm and Grandma has been here for probably 60, 65 years. Her husband Otto wanted to be a dairy farmer and they did that for a few years but didn't like it. And so then he worked at GMC in Janesville and now my husband and I live here and we have cherry trees. She comes from a small family. She has one sister and a brother left living. She only had one son and she had two grandsons and three great-grandchildren. She loves to tell stories about her life and places that she's been and things that she's done. For being 105, Grandma has seen a lot. She's gone from horse and buggy to airplanes. Even at her age, Dora still has a sense of curiosity, wisdom, and strong will. Doris, do you like cherries? No. No? I <laughs> just, the first time she told me that, I was so surprised. I'm like, how can you have a cherry orchard and hate cherries? She said they're just too sour. <laughs> Grandma is, is kind of sassy in a fun way. Um, she likes to tease, she likes to laugh. If men come to visit, she says, oh, that's my boyfriend. She has a lot of friends that come and visit from years past and very spunky, very fun. She's very spirited, she's very stubborn, and she's just fun to be around. She's just always happy. She not only still plays piano, but enjoys her doll collection. Was that your first doll? That was about six years old oh. when I got that for Christmas. That's very special. <laughs> this, and my mother made the clothes. Very nice. That's a beast from Germany. Because her family works and goes to school full time, it's hard to take care of all of Doris's needs. Grandma was having some heart issues and it was just difficult for me to always be caring for her. And so Rainbow Hospice has partnered with us and I couldn't do it without him. They are just wonderful. <laughs> The mission of Rainbow Hospice Care is to provide comfort, care, and meaning at the end of life. Doris uses the daily program, which helps her with her showering, her hair, getting up in the morning. She also has used the inpatient facility, which was recently opened um, while the family went out of state to see their daughter. And she's also recently uh, been able to be on the tuck-in program. She's very appreciative of what she has. The Stefan family truly appreciates the nurses that visit, especially Kathy. Kathy, <laughs> there's no word to describe her. She comes, she does grandma's nails, she does her hair, she gives grandma hugs and kisses. And I think that without Kathy, grandma probably would not be here today. The relationship I have with Doris is just so special. I've never met anyone Doris's age. Never having a grandmother, I feel like I've been a part of this family for a long time. I mean, we give her the attention, but Kathy is special. Rainbow Hospice has a strong financial and emotional partnership with Tomorrow's Hope. Tomorrow's Hope is an extraordinary friend to Rainbow Hospice Care and has been a great partner to us since 1998. Tomorrow's Hope has done an incredible job in helping people to recognize that their time, their talent, and their resources can make an extraordinary difference in the lives of people that we all serve. For the time that Doris remains with her family, it'll be one of great care and love. Even though you can't 
tell by looking at Doris, she's enjoying what is left of her life, and, and we know that in a very special way. Grandma is our family. Um, we would not put her in an elder care facility unless it was just impossible for us to take care of her. This is her home. This is where she wants to be, and we want her here, and that makes all of us happy.